Uh, it's been all go here, I tell you. Uh, yeah, you did the, I think, you know what, I'm gonna wet the paper. I think I might just, oh, that'll do to about there. Right, some blue on my brush. This is a cerulean blue, and just, you know what, that looks a bit strong. So, come back in with some water, and just melt it in. Yep, it's been all go here. Ah, well, um, I'm just looking at that and get that a tiny little dry. That'll do. My stepbrother Doofus, been watching all them UFO documentaries, Auntie. Kept telling him it's no good for him. Get your sen out in fresh air, I said. What did I say? No good for you, doofus. Get your sen out in fresh air. Did he listen? Uh -uh. No. Did he heck? So. He's only gone and scared him sen half to death watching him, ain't he? I never guess where he is now. He's locked him sen in the attic with tin foil on his head. Can't get him down. He won't come out. He scared him sound stupid. We've all tried to reason with him. We're getting his girlfriend Donna kebab over in a bit. She's gonna come on and try and get him to stop acting like a lobotomized chimp. But whether it will work or not, nobody knows. Just have a little, just try this. Is that too strong? If it's too strong, so I've got two brushes on go here. This one, this big one, so it's only got water on it. So if that's too strong, I can melt it in with that. You see, let's pop a bit extra water in it. That'll help. That's better. This once this has got to look far away, you see. Let's take that one there. Like that. Yeah, that's better. Hopefully, that looks quite far away. I'm going to blend that into some lighter colours. Better. In fact, what I think I'll do, I'll come all the way down, just gradually getting these greens to look more closer. So I've got a bluey green at the back, and then as it's getting closer, it's going into more of a lesser -er bluey green. Right, this is a, oh, this is a bright green. Nice. If I want that to blend up a bit, all I've got to do is turn it upside down. Let me just get in there. I might turn it upside down in a second. I'm just mixing up some uh, brown just so I can remember which way it's coming in. And I'll put it in upside down so it's that way, across there, like that. Right, I'll do this upside down a minute and then them greens can blend back up into that background. That'll work. So, and then I know I want some. Let's take that off now. Get some browns. This is just mud. It's just blending in across this page. Just about like that. Dee 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 dee. It's going a bit, turning a bit green. So if I pop a bit of red in, 
that I'll stop that. That. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna need to, I can't get my head around this. I need to get some more rocks in, so I need it. Pop in some tiny little rocks, but I need it this way so I can see which way to dummy rocks. Some tiny bits of rocks and stuff in here. Not so much over this side, more down here. Nope. Let's spin that back upside down again. Uh, no, tell you what. <laughs> Let's break back. I'm probably sick of me doing this now. Right, I've just realised I've got to get all my um, <coughs> all my bushes and stuff in, so I can't really have it upside down. Right. Get this, this is I mean, a bushy brush. Oh no, in fact, let's try and start right in the background actually, first. See if my paper's wet enough to do this. This paper needs to be quite wet. I think it is that wet. You know what? <coughs> I'm going to dry it and then re wet it. A little tip for you that my paper had dried up there and I need a really soft effect up there so I need my paint spread out so I need it really wet if I'd have just gone straight in because it was still wet down here it would have washed all that paint and ended up with big white streaks in there so dry the whole thing and then go back in with water and hopefully that will sit pretty still so just go in gently if you've got a spray some people just do a spray on it and just top it up but um, I don't know. I've got a sprayer and it's broke. So I'll just dry it and sh start again. There we are. Actually, I don't need that much water down here really because as it comes down softer and dry, it'll be easier to do. So let's just get some fields and stuff in. That's how that's long. I think what I might do is leave some little gaps in it. Just, I'll have them closer together as I'm up here. Let's see. Now, <coughs> I need to soften any bits. I'll get my brush, what's well, just got my water on it. Just soften them in like that. Although most of it's looking quite good. There's a little splodge there. I'm going to take that out. I need to trim any at bottoms up. That seems to be working pretty good. There. Now. Let's have a big end coming across here. That'll do. I'm into me. Uh, this brush now just gives me a bit more like that spiky look. Yeah. Oh, that's one bit there we are. <coughs> right now then. Mixing a nice dark colour up now. Nice dark green. So across about, let's say about there. Letter of fence. 
to that there. I left a gap in it for some brighter stuff. Just to brighten it up a bit. I'll stick a few bright bits in. There. Just that brighten it up a bit. And then same again from about here. Some of the brighter stuff. Some of the darker stuff. And then let's get some really dark in the bottom. Well, pretty good. Again, this brush just with water on it. I'm just going to soften this bottom bit in. I'm going to even whack a bit of paint on there. Just soften it in with a bit of paint. A bit more. That's it. Well, oh, that looks nice. A bit more flowing details into there. That's nice. Right. So, stick that in there. Right, dry time. saying not only has doofus been watching a load of documentaries locked him in an attic uh the meltman's been showing off again meltman's been around he's been showing off his climbing skills this time he's uh let's get that green and see if this is perfect he's climbed out the bedroom window down the drain pipe, over the back fence. I think he thinks he's some sort of stunt man or something, but yeah, it's showing off. My dad only just missed it, my dad, my stepdad. He only just missed it. He uh, come home only early from work, just missed him doing it. I reckon he'd have been well impressed with how good he was. So he's been round showing off again. I don't even know why he's been round. My stepdad cancelled the melt. He says we're getting it from the supermarket from now on. So I don't even know why he's been round here. Well, unless he has literally just been round just to show off his climbing skills. I don't know. But he's gone now anyway. So yeah, it's all been it's all been happening around here. The only one good thing what's come out of all this we do for in the attic thing all right is i get to sneak in his bedroom all right go on his train set <laughs> and i stick his surfboard up onto his bed and stand on it and i pretend i'm surfing as well <laughs> <laughs> brilliant I've been having a fantastic time if he finds out I've been in his bedroom he'll kill me but there's no possible way he can ever find out is it it's not like I've done a video and stuck it on YouTube for everyone to watch is it so he's never going to find out there we are a few little twigs in there so these are my little um, bushes so I could actually Popping a few little tweaks in some of this stuff, really. Dee 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 dee. A few bits. Blah, blah, blah. That's probably enough. Yeah. Just a little bit. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, right. There's a fence. Get a fence in. So my fence starts about a bar. 
Let's whip all the wobble defense back out there. Cross over there. Probably can't see because my hands in the way. Ah, back out there. It's a wibble de wobble defense attack. Let's have even a little bit of one. Up there like that. Let's say the light's coming in this way and just give a really dark edge down back a bit on it, shall we? There we are. There we are. That's that. So, and then, I'm going to do a little bit of a wire. If I do this wire like that so you can't see it all, it'll look thinner. That'll do, it's just, it, it, usually I think we use a bit of like electric -y wire stuff to st stop these bobos running off because there's going to be some bobos in this in a minute. A little bit of shadows there and I think I'll stick in, while oh, I've got this brush, a few little extra rocks in there, little pebbles and stuff. There. Yeah, then. I'm just going to stand back over the room and have a look at that. It's not fucking bad. Yeah, that's not fucking bad, that. Right. <coughs> Time to put a couple of bobos in here, I think. Actually, looking at it, I think... Where's my brush? The light's coming in here, so I think that's us have... Not gone mad. I'd like to dry this after and all that. But I think let's just have a bit of shadow coming across this way, look, off this edge. Because if you think about it, we've got them shadows coming off there. It's going to be shadowed. Now, I wonder if I can dab it with this. Still have it shadowy. It might dry it a bit quicker. If I could not use my air dryer, it would be ideal because then you're not have to listen to it. And we'll just get a quick lip blast. that uh, nah. need some tiny bit of designer's white gouache not much tiny bit I'm gonna have a white horse let me select a brush about that side that's a it says a 1.2 on it I don't even know what that means right I've got paint all on my hands Getting us in here. Yeah, we're not seeing John. So I'll pop him here and then he'll stand out and pop him there. So fat looks have his head down here. So he's eating grass, his head's coming up like that. And that's his back. Leaning right forward there, eating that grass. Dee dee dee. It's the proper just side on this one is. I don't normally like doing things side on. Well, this is from a photo where I took, and it was just stood side on, so I'll just leave him as he was. These horses have got dead long legs, but um, it must have been the way it was stood. It looks like they're not quite long. Members, it's just the way he stood. That's his tail there. Yeah, he's got he had his head down, munching on that grass, something like that. And munching on grass. Sun's coming in that way. The other os is two osses. The other os. Alright, let me get uh, this brush just to mix some colour up. I just need some bontumber 
The paint's great for this. Just mixing it nice. Dark blob up. <coughs> Squeeze that brush out. There we are. Jobs are good, I'm going to stick that in there. Right. Another Ross. Bon Tumba. Paint grey. Right, this one is stored. There. I can do this one in light, you see, because this one is dark, so I've got me light against dark there, dark against light here, so. I'll probably do this one slightly bigger. This one, to get me a thing so this one looks closer, I'm going to do it bigger, but actually, in natural, when I took the photo, this one was actually a smaller os. Want as big as to the other one. But I think for the sake of this paint, you've got to think it, it don't matter what rimp photo, you've got to think what's going to look better for your painting, not what. Nobody knows this for a small Ross, so I'm going to paint him bigger. Is that big enough? Yeah, he looks a bit bigger than him now. What is what I want? That's his head. About there, you can just see his head, he's sort of silhouetted a bit. You can just see his head about there. Right now, <coughs> a mix of dark green. I need a dark green shadow under this one. I and mean, the shadow's going that way, isn't it? Because well, that shadow's going that way. And I nearly, without concentrating, did it to the way. What a wally. Something like that. So this one actually. If he stood in there, this shadow probably coming out a bit across there as well, I would have thought. So about like that. I'm going to blend it in here because you don't really get a shadow in a shadow. He's already in a shadow, so blend that bit in a bit. There we are. There, that'll do. Uh, Right, he's got a bit of white on his nose. So, sort that like out in a minute though. Um, right, get me a tiny little brush. I'm just gonna stand back and have another look because I think it's looking right. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, I'm sorry to me. All right. Well, tell you what I'm gonna do today. Because that's in distance, I'm gonna Peter and Paul about here there's peter there's paul they just start flying around looking for a few worms uh, right let's brush again see if i can just got it's got a tiny bit in it white on one side of his nose this one so that's his head there so say his nose is about there he's got a bit of white on his nose that's that oh let's wash that little brush so i need to buy die on the picture not to sight them boy die so yeah doofus has locked him in the attic tin foil on his head hopefully by tomorrow's painting I'll manage to get him to come down. Like I say, his ex-girlfriend, Donna Kebab, she's coming over later. She's going to try and get him to come down, try and get him to stop acting like a lobotomised chimp and just get him to act normal just for just for an hour. It'd be brilliant. I'm not that bothered because I can sneak in his room and play on his train set, so I don't really care. Not bothered to worry, does. a bit selfish, but he'll grab his act together at some point. Boy, die, Bertie, die. Um, so, Meltman's been showing off his climbing skills. It's all been going off. It's just hectic around here. Proper hectic. Oh, it's down. I'm just going to wash my brushes. You can stare at that for a bit. It's getting proper hectic. But no, it, I really do hope Doofus comes out of that attic. It's, I knew he'd end up scaring him to death. That's what he's done. He's watched that many UFO documentaries and he scared him to death. If you're watching stuff like that, 
try not to take it too serious. So I'm pretty sure if there were UFOs flying about, we'd probably know about it. Let's wash these other brushes. There we are. That's that one. Just letting you stare at me picture while I wash my brushes. Right, they're all washed. Um, I'm going to go and get a bacon sarnie. I'll give Doofus a shot, see if he wants a bacon sarnie, but I doubt he's even going to come out that attic. So, see there on beach. In it. <laughs>